Almost two years ago, I made a video detailing on how to play every Crash Bandicoot game on PC. I would say that the video has aged pretty well, but due to the passage of time, some parts of it were bound to get dated eventually. In that video, I showed how to play Crash Team Racing Nitro Field on PC, and the best settings for it. I stated that the Switch emulators Yuzu and Ryu Jinx are the best emulators to play this game on. And well, just a few months later, the Yuzu emulator was taken down by Nintendo, and Ryu Jinx followed a few months after that, making Switch emulation not as accessible as before. While archives of the program did exist, it was hard to know if they were even fully legit and didn't have any formal virus or malware in them. Ever since then, a bunch of Switch emulators have come and gone, but I think we're at a point where I can finally make this video without the video itself aging poorly though it honestly wouldn't surprise me if I turned out to be wrong. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled on PC. But not only that, I'm also going to show you how to play it at 4K 120 frames per second, with every single character, card, and customization item unlocked, even in ultra-wide if you're one of the rare few people to have one of those. But you might wonder why we need a cheat that unlocks every item in the game instead of just, you know, doing it ourselves. And that's because a lot of the items in CTR Nitro Field come from the pit shop, which is only accessible when you're connected to the game's servers, which obviously is impossible on an emulator. In order to set everything up, you will need a few things. 1. A Nintendo Switch product key and a title key. Number 2. The game itself, along with its newest update. Number 3. The mods linked in the description. And number 4. A Nintendo Switch firmware after 2019. There are a few ways you can obtain free out of the four items on this list. The first is by having a homebrewed Nintendo Switch and extracting everything from your modded console to your PC. The other is via downloading it on the internet, though for obvious reasons, I will not and cannot show you how to obtain this stuff illegally on the web, and I do not encourage any form of piracy on this channel, despite my personal views on the topic. Again, just to make it as crystal clear as possible, I do not encourage any form of piracy or illegal activity on this channel. How you obtain the game along with a Nintendo Switch product key, title key, and firmware along with the game itself is up to you. But assuming you have all of these things legally, you can play Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled on PC and I'm going to show you how. What we want to do first is download a Switch emulator called Eden. This is a Switch emulator forked from Yuzu that has gotten a bunch of updates ever since Yuzu's cancellation. Go over to the website linked in the description down below and download the newest version. Unzip the folder, create a folder called user in the Eden directory, and boot up the program. The first thing you're going to see is a pop-up saying that there are no key files installed. In order to install a key file, go over to the Tools tab and click on Install Decryption Key. Find your key and it should be installed just like that. Make sure to do this with the tile key as well. If you have the Switch firmware, it would also be very wise to install that as well. After those things are done, you want to add the folder where you have CTR Nitro Field. Once you see CTR Nitro Field on the games list, head over to the Files section at the top left of the screen and click on Install Files to NAND, and then just choose the CTR Update file along with any additional DLC cosmetic items you want to install as well. Now that we have the game along with its update installed, it's time to configure the graphics and control settings. If you can, I highly recommend playing this game on Vulcan, as it delivers the best performance. You want to leave most of the base settings untouched, except when it comes to the video resolution. If you have a 1440p monitor or above, I highly recommend upping the graphics if your computer can handle it. If you plan on using the ultra wide mod for this game, it's also highly recommended to change the aspect ratio as well. Otherwise, let's move on. Control settings are next, and this should be pretty simple. Just select your controller and it should automatically assign the buttons. Save the profile and you are done. Now that we're done with the installation part of the video, you can technically boot the game up and play it, but we're not done yet. We still have the mods to install that will let us play the game at 120 frames per second, ultra wide, and all that kind of crap. In the description of this video, there will be links to two GitHub pages. The first containing the mods for the frame rate and ultra wide aspect ratio. The other containing the mod for unlocking everything in the game. Download both of them and unzip them. Go back to Eden and right click on CTR Nitro Field and click on Open Mods Directory, which will be empty. But what you want to do is drag the unzipped folders containing the mods you plan on using to the Mods Directory. 
After that's done, right click on CTR Nitro Field once again and click on the bottom option which for most people should either be properties or manage game. If you have the mods on the list then congrats, they are installed. If you don't see them however, it means you installed them incorrectly. With the most probable cause being that you might have installed one of the outer folders instead of the main one to make the mod actually work as some Windows extraction tools seem to do that sometimes. But just install the inner folder and you should be good. You can now open the game to see that it is indeed running at either 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second depending on what mod you chose. And jumping right in, you can also see that every single item in the game is unlocked and ready whenever. I should mention that the game will stutter here and there due to compiling new shaders, which is pretty normal with emulators, but after a while it should be for the most part smooth as butter. With that, I'm done for today. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it helped you out, and I will see you all in the next one. See you guys then.